everyone. Welcome to my shop. My name is Steve. Uh, today I've got a, another project that's a continuation of my cord uh, restoration. Uh, after taking the front of the transmission shifter control apart, um, I, I have a, a bronze bushing that came out of the uh, shifter. And it doesn't really get any lubrication, or very little lubrication that I can see. Um, and I thought this might be a great time to uh, experiment with my uh, Groover tool that I made uh, several years ago uh, and uh, give it a little workout today, a little exercise, and see if we can put a little uh, oil groove inside of this uh, bushing so that uh, we can put a little heavy, uh, heavier lube in there so it'll kind of stay it just shifts, it just moves a little bit and uh, only does a little bit of movement. So there's not a lot of wear. I mean, this thing's been in there for quite a while, but it's, it doesn't show any sign of wear. So uh, I thought we'd go in and, and uh, just put us a groove inside. So follow me along if you like. Loosen up this nut here, and then we can move this, the travel of this. So, all right, a few things we have to get adjusted in order to make this thing work right. Um, this, this is the driving foot that hooks onto the edge of the. Uh, on the jaws doesn't matter which one but and that's that's what drives the groover tool okay but I have to have it close enough that we can catch here and it's and it's uh, and so I've got to adjust that and then we also have to adjust the travel how far it travels which will be the next thing we've got to check so um, we're all the way to the back, and that's that's our forward travel. So I need to measure that. Our part is one inch. I don't want the oil grooves to come out of the out of it, so we're going to make the travel, we'll call it three quarters of an inch. Let's try, see if we can set this at three quarters. So let's see here. Oh, there's a, there's a, yeah, we, we weren't quite there. We we're only halfway there. There's our full travel there. So <clears throat> this is going to loosen up this nut here. And then we can move this, the travel of this. 
what I want to do is uh, get my uh, dial indicator out. Okay, we'll just anchor that there. I'll bring the setup to here. All right. Okay. That was close though. Okay, so we got more travel than we want here. Loosen this up. Uh, shorten it up as short as we can. That's, that's as short as it, it'll go right now. Okay, so let's see where we are. Okay. All right, let's see what we get. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. There it is, seven fifty. Boy, I'll call that call that good. <laughs> okay. One more time just to confirm. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, 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 seven fifty-five. Well, that's <laughs> that's about as close. That's about as close as you'd want, huh? Five thousands off. Okay. And this is adjustable. And we want this travel all the way out to the back. That's the back. So that uh, that should lock our position in for that. So now we should come out. That should be our full extension in. There's our full extension out. So now the next step is to line it up with the see how we are with the lathe here. If I put the cutter Cut her there. Okay. And then, well, let's see. Let me back up. Yeah, let's back up just a little bit. And, uh, is in there and we bring this in so we're set there <sighs> and our tool engages goes in and comes back out so there's our there's our starting position and what we gotta do is figure out where to put the, the cutter. So my cutter isn't, I don't have it adjusted properly yet, so we'll have to take a closer look at that. All right, on the end of the shaft, I put a threaded set screw here. And there's our cutter. put the cutter in it needs to be just proud a little bit I sharpened it uh, a nice round it's in focus nice round groove uh, it should put in a decent groove but we're a little bit long because when that's in I'm going to stick out just a tiny bit like that. <clears throat> and we're hanging out on the back side, so i got to take off about an eighth of an inch. All right. So now, get 
that in there, but will the part fit over? And no, it will not. <clears throat> Just another 30,000 probably. Just, just making contact. Beautiful. All right. So now I'm going to insert this piece into the lathe. up get it fully retracted let's go right in there and I want this to go to the back of the opening Just a little tiny bit, I think we're sticking out just a little too much. There we go. A couple thou. Let's see what happens now. I don't feel anything touching. Okay. Things in there. Now, and that's that's fully extended in there. I, I think we'll be okay. I guess what I can do is put a little witness mark right on here. Set my uh, travel dial here to zero, so I can put it back to that spot if needed. That should be it there. So now, just pull back. Oh yeah, there we're, we've got plenty of room there. So I put this back to zero here. in there, or not, well not locked in, but now we are, now I'll set the carry, lock the carriage in, and now this should do it, yep. there we go. Running, but we're not cutting because I haven't brought the cross feed out yet. 
coming out here. Can I hear it? Can you hear that? Take a little more. This is the, uh, the end result here. Let's see if I can let you see how it works. I rotate it around just right with the light. You can see the pattern it made. Comes down here to the end. And on this side, it's a little closer to the end, but we're inside the we're inside, so we're good. Um, there we go. Now you can see it there, see? Okay. Yeah. Looks good. Alright, didn't need much, but it does allow oil to just get trapped in there and stay. So that's the that's the whole nothing to it but it uh, you know mostly set up get the setup right with just a piece of cake then so thanks for watching appreciate it